do it. Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Left Hand Corner. We have Shaolin, aka Monk, starting as the Green Protoss. Upper Right Hand Corner, we have Gauss, starting as the Midnight Blue Protoss. This is on Nemesis, which could be a wild one, because we saw an insane game that Monk ended up the victor of in game one. But on Nemesis, you've got these Zerg eggs that allow, and the assimilators as well, that allow entrance into the main from multiple angles. So even if you end up going a standard counter to Dark Templar, which usually in the form of robotics facility, first builds, two gate, one gate, usually two gate robo, three gate robo are uh, the very, very strong ones. But even if you do that, you have to keep the Dragoons very close to your main because Dark Templar could be coming at you from all angles unless you're really being diligent with your scouting. Gauss making his way out. And we'll see, it could go either way, honestly, because I could see Monk trying to pull off some shenanigans as well. Keep in mind, Nemesis also has completely even flat ground across the map, so there's no high ground, low ground, which means numbers is an advantage. So in PvP, it ends up being kind of this razor thin margin where, yeah, if you get the, the troop advantage, that could be significant, but otherwise it could be problems. Okay, I actually, re uh, confession, I restarted this for this exact reason. First scout from Gauss. I want to take a look. Okay, so right there, he might have seen the probe on the edge of vision. I don't know if that was ticked off or not. He's going to try to angle around and we'll have to see. So I'm going to keep the vision off. We already have this simulator warping and we'll see if that probe meanders into vision. It's going to try to float around that edge. I have a feeling that it might have gotten scout. Okay, there it, it popped in to vision once again. That's what I didn't want to do. Oh, well. So hugging that edge. Let's see if it goes up the ramp now. Now it's still going to stay on that edge of vision. Is it just going to return home at this stage or is it actually going to angle out and look for something proxy. Let's see if Gauss does more of the same compared to game one. This time, maybe going with the shield battery at the natural expansion off the two gate. Cybernetics core, second gateway, and gas already mining. So I think that was spotted and I do believe the shenanigans are expected. Oh, probe does not see the probe building at the natural once again. And did Monk see it? He's going to the south, it looks like. If he goes cross spawn, that means he definitely didn't see it. First zealot making its way out. Two more zealots being constructed, a pylon along that edge, so it might not be a full dedication. In the meantime, first dragoon being produced, but it's going to have zealots in its face very, very rapidly. Also, with the construction of this, it is possible... Actually, it'd be a little, little challenging, but I think out of this gateway with a couple pylons, you could block the dragoons in. The probe abandoning position, starting to move in. It looks like the probe did find the base. Okay, it just took an odd route to do so. Seize the two gate. First salt making its way up. A dragoon is already there off the rush distances. Probe and zealot able to get some initial damage. That probe taking initial fire and the zealot going to redirect. This was a, a sizable investment of that pylon right there. The zealot retreating that back corner is still going to get some shots as that probe is going to box. Yeah, having trouble moving that Dragoon across. The Dragoon, this Dragoon, has a Zealot run right by. One probe down there at the very least, but it looks like the Zealot at the main has been dispatched. Two more Zealots making their way in, and this is going to be a initial five Zealot spread. So a micro test for Monk. Thus far, I believe he's succeeding, although this Zealot has made its way to the main and is chasing the probe line there. One Dragoon down at the natural expansion, two Dragoons up, a pylon block to make sure the Zealots can't run behind that mineral line. But now we've got four Zealots versus two Dragoons. Third Zealot, or sorry, third Dragoon on the way. More probes being assaulted. Right now, Monk does have the two probe lead, so he does have probes to bleed. That Zealot goes down. The probes able to take out that second Zealot. More Zealots marching their way in. Now making the way, and it looks like there's still no gas. There is a forge behind this. But that is going to be it. It's going to be just pure Zealot. And honestly, at this stage, I think there's plenty of Dragoons to go ahead and defend this. Three versus three is good odds, especially with more Dragoons on the way. Gauss has managed to sneak a little bit of a worker lead. That Zealot gets wiped out. But honestly, having this many Dragoons is a massive advantage, especially because they're exiting with one of them heavily damaged, but the rest with decent health. Two more, two more Zealots and two more Zealots on the way, hanging out, a pylon block at the natural expansion to prevent an additional Nexus take. 
Zealot's now being full on engaged, at least able to take out a Dragoon, but honestly, that initial Zealot assault was completely battered. I am going to say that Gauss did end up with you with a worker lead, still sending Zealots. Really dedicated to this. And honestly, this just feels like too little too late. I don't know, maybe he's still going to get some probe kills though, as that mineral line is somewhat exposed, able to disrupt a bit of mining. Monk staying on top of the probe creation, and now he's got, and maybe he's also doing so just to buy himself time to get some cannons up, because otherwise he would just end up dying. Zealot has snuck on the high ground ramp, going to make its way back out, a photon cannon being warped in to respect the Dark Templar, which is wise. The Dragoons, again engaging the Zealots at the natural, it looks like they're not able to deal with the Zealot there, so Gauss using every opportunity to assault the worker line. That Zealot finally taken care of, and all of a sudden Gauss actually has a sizable worker lead. The disadvantage here though is that Nexus can easily be grabbed, and there's just a large amount of Dragoons that are steamrolling, and the Cybernetics core is not even, is just now warping in. Wise check in the back corner for any sort of proxy tech, and I don't know that the Dragoon count differential is, is something that can be surmounted. That pylon gonna get taken out, that Zealot gonna die, and now we actually also have a proxy pylon. And so if Monk wanted to, he could also drop a shield battery and potentially work on these two cannons. So down two workers at the end of all that, but up a lot of army, as far as army potential. It looks like one Zealot, or sorry, one Dragoon being left, the rest of the Dragoons peeling back out. This probe was able to sneak out. That could be to build a sneaky Nexus at the third. That could be a interesting recovery maneuver. Oh, that's very, very sneaky. But this has been read by Monk, just knowing his opponent at this stage. So the Dragoon's gonna filter that direction to go ahead, open that up and wipe it out. Mind reading his opponent. He's It takes a Protoss to beat a Protoss, I guess. Shuttle being constructed, which makes me think we might see a Citadel of Adun and maybe Dark Templar. I'd be shocked to see Reavers this late. Okay, we are seeing robotic support, but he does want to transition to Reaver. The Dragoon's able to march in. Actually, that might have not even been able... To, uh, that might not have been to even catch this Nexus. That might have been to just force the issue and make the way around the cannons. Three cannons at the natural. The Dragoon's taking out the Assimilator. I don't know if this is a mistake or not, or if this is just intended to make sure that troops can't make their way out from this location. Actual expansion coming online. A probe is actually making its way out, maybe to drop a third Nexus at a different angle. Nexus canceled at the three o'clock. Yeah, so just dropping the Assimilators to make sure that now nothing in the realm of Protoss can make it through. And there's nothing that these units on this side can do about it. So that is pinning Gauss to one base. He's going to have to rely on the robotics facility and some miracle reaver micro now. Monk has taken the worker lead. Range is upgrading. He's starting to saturate that natural expansion, which is going to give a big boost. Still working off two gateways. The one problem for him is if that shuttle scoops up that reaver, there is... Okay, we do have a pylon and a probe here, but it's possible the Dragoons are not going to be in position depending on the exit angle. Although this could be a problem as the Reaver announces its presence by taking out the cannons at the natural. That might have been a mistake, honestly, on Gauss's part, because this is possibly his way. Oh, and a dud as well. I didn't think that was duddable. Also, third Nexus coming online, bottom left for Monk. Pylon blockade at the other locations. Also making sure that just that three o'clock is completely inaccessible. More cannons warping in just to buy time. I feel, I don't know about this, especially with that py that pylon exposed. Feels like this is kind of a waste of resources. Yeah, there's the cancellation at the very least. That probe gonna get taken out as well. Shuttle speed is being upgraded. So that might be a way for Gauss to sneak back into it, but this is gonna be very delayed base. And we got three bases up and running for Monk. Monk just needs to get these Dragoons out of this 3 o'clock location and back to a defensive position and also needs to get some troops out on the forward front. He's got three Photon Cannons warping in, but it is possible that Gauss could elevator a lot of this as he's somehow got the Worker lead, I think, in the investment in Cannons in between. So the shuttle with two Reavers making their way forward and Gauss actually has a shot at this. 
Although this base is going to be a problem at a distance. And this is, again, the games between these two have been fascinating. That's all I can say. The Dragoon's cutting off reinforcements, doing some damage there, but these cannons are not going to be long for life. Third gateway and a fourth gateway being dropped, more Dragoons being produced, but those cannons getting wiped out. The Zealot's gone as well. Now five Dragoons from the rear going to try to engage. The Zealot looking to buy some time, and Gauss has the troop advantage to threaten from both angers, uh, angles. So Monk trying to buy himself some time now, dropping now the cannons are necessary just to create a bit of delay to get some troops out. He does have two Dragoons that could join this and sort of a potential pincer maneuver. Oops, accidental self-shot to punish that Dragoon. Shuttle is gone. That will help immensely. The Dragoon's pushing in, however, and I think this natural expansion might get wiped out. That's still two bases up for Gauss, though as the Reaver creening in. So now it's a time game with the four gateways to produce enough troops to deal with the attack force. Maybe there should be an indicator that there are no probes here. So that's actually going to mitigate a lot of losses. That's a 10 worker lead. But this next is certainly going to fall before Monk is able to respond. That might create a false sense of security on Kaus's side of the equation, though. The Reaver's holding position the dragoons grouping up keep in mind again there's no high ground low ground between this so no misfire rate some decent saturation to make up for that it looks like the dragoons not bothering to engage from the opposite angle they want to have them come down the ramp before engaging plus one weapons being upgraded and the reavers engaging from a couple angles these eggs actually being taken down maybe to allow the dragoons to get back to the main no, he, okay, for a second there, he was attacking the simulator, but another grouping of attack forces moving out for Gauss, and he might be able to wipe this out. If he can wipe out these Dragoons at the 12 o'clock location, he's going to catch at least two of them here. If he can wipe out this support force and re-engage, especially if he gets another shuttle out in space, he might end up in an advantageous situation to just end the match through overwhelming numbers. Eggs being opened up so the Dragoons can scurry through. It looks like this is now going to be detente across the wall. Although Gauss doesn't have range finished, it looks like. Potentially. Plus one weapons also coming online. He still doesn't have his natural expansion constructed as well. But these Reavers slowly marching their way across. Cannon, this pylon's going to get wiped out. These cannons should be canceled. I'm not sure what Monk was thinking about these cannons, maybe catching the Dragoons by surprise on the high ground. But now the Dragoons marching out. The Zealot, single Zealot giving forward warning, though. And Gauss in a rush to get outside. He didn't want to... That could have been a clever maneuver for Monk as well to take down the assimilators to lock that army in. And now it is a full-on fray between the two. The Reaver joining from the north. That's forcing a lot of Dragoons out of position. So Gauss is getting a little bit better exchange overall. Still the supply lead in Monk's favor. He's had this base in the bottom left mining this entire time. The natural expansion is still running, but we still have Reaver advantage. Plus one weapons not yet finished. Four gateways running for Monk. Nine supply lead. These have made for very entertaining games. Reaver slow walking that shuttle, speedily moving across with an additional Reaver. The Dragoons, I'm not sure where they're going. They're going to be completely out of position to help defend the front. Looks like the assimilator is being taken down to the north to again keep that cap. It looks like he was just trying to find additional bases out in the front, but the additional bases are not there. Now Shaolin had a probe to maybe re-grab his natural. That's going to get denied again. A counterattack, though, of all of the Dragoons into the natural, so it could turn into a base race situation now, in which case Monk would win. Although three Dragoons are making their way bottom left, there is only a cannon there to defend. So this is going to get spotted, it looks like. So this is turning into an insane match. The probe's completely evacuating the natural expansion. The Reaver is being dropped on the low ground, engaging there. The Dragoons getting wiped out for Monk, cannons, a flurry, and concentrated fire on the Nexus there. The Reavers have been wiped out, it looks like. And also in bottom left, the cannons gone. So na natural expansion gone. Dragoons having trouble. The Reaver looks like it might get picked off. No, it stands, which is going to allow Barrage at a distance. 
The Dragoons scattering around. I'm not sure what direction they're going to head, but that Nexus is now going to be lost bottom left, and it's going to be one base versus one base. Monk has the supply lead, but he's got a Reaver in his base. Probe scattering, trying to retreat away from the Reaver. The Reaver taking some shots from the cannon. The Dragoons getting wiped out as well. Monk in the red, drawing troops to the bottom left to try to save that Nexus but sacking his main potentially for this the shuttle moving across trailing the probes they're taking fire getting wiped out looks like reinforcements are going to be able to clean up the dragoons at the main and we are approaching so the probes just scattering back and forth under reaver fire gauss down to 19 workers monk does have the theoretical worker lead he has saved this nexus just in the nick of time bottom left has cleared out everything had his main and now Gauss needs to think about taking an additional base as very soon he's going to be out of minerals. However, right now, Monk is not mining. Other problem for Monk, he has massive amounts of territory he needs to defend. He needs to defend his main and this bottom left. The shuttles are still there. We got a... Templar archives being built as well. Dragoons now engaging. Across the three o'clock... Dragoon's getting wiped out. 30 supply lead now for Monk, but keep in mind, 10 of that is in workers, so not as large as you might think it might be. More Dragoon's going to envelop this Dragoon force, and that is going to clear out the standing army for Gauss, and I do not think Gauss has enough resources, period, to rebuild. He's got four gateways and a reaver, but he's going to need some magic Dark Templar. Yeah, the Dark Templar being constructed now. There's no robotics facility for Monk. Looks like it's just now being constructed. Units scattering absolutely everywhere to try to get eyes. But the Dark Templar could be the differential factor here. Could see a complete swing in things. Both players looking for additional expansions that might be out in the map. It looks like an observer might have found a base bottom left. Eggs being opened up along the edge to maybe grab an additional base. Monk re-grabbing his natural expansion and opening up the three o'clock, maybe for his own possession. The Dark Templar faring out. There are three cannons here bottom left, but with some decent micro, the Dark Templar might be able to wipe that out. There are the Dragoons somewhat nearby to provide some support. The shuttle, however, getting caught, taking a lot of damage. The Dark Templar gonna have to drop short away from the cannon lines, which means they're going to have to take fire on their way through. Another Dark Templar moseying its way towards the main. This could be the critical exchange here. Three cannons, decent placed. The natural expansion looks like it's going to be exposed. The observatory, the first observatory producing, being sorry, the first observer being produced. The Dark Templar have been detected bottom left. With that bit of fire, the shuttle, I think, might have spotted that Nexus bottom at the bottom corner. Maybe the Dark Templar going to try to shoot the gap. I think the Dark Templar died as it walked in to the main upper left to the cannon line. I don't see any blue. Oh, never mind. It managed to get amongst the probes. Three kills. Hard to tell against the background right there. Got a few probe kills working on the Nexus, but that's going to be a very Pyrrhic victory as there are no minerals left. And right now, Gauss is not mining. So he's going to have to distance mine at his natural. More Dark Templar making their way out. Natural expansion's up, but there's no detection there. Is the Observer overhead? I'm looking for where the Observer was produced. I don't know where it went, though. Looks like it's mid-map, which is the perfect place because two Dark Templar are going to get caught immediately there. The rest of the Dark Templar pulling out, and Gauss, upon seeing the Observer going to call gg and monk goes up two games to nil in very exciting matches thus far hope you guys have enjoyed it please give a like and subscribe if you did your viewership is much appreciated thank you for listening